Here it is, boys and girls, the big one, the showstopper, the inevitable, the well-known, the crossfire. Um, this is by far, by far, the most played map of all time in this game. Like, no, no, no doubt, no doubt about that. Um, 2011, 2010, I played this all the time. Like, every server, even if there are other maps in the rotation, inevitably it would go to crossfire at some point, without, without a doubt. Um, it good, it's a good map from what I remember. Well, it's actually a great map. Regardless, uh, just a little thing, it was made by Dario Casali. Uh, it was added into the game in patch, I don't know how I'm going to say this, 1.0.0.8, which was released on January 13, uh, 13th, 1999. Uh, alongside a few other maps were released that day, actually. And, yeah, we'll just take a look at it. The thing about this map is that it's uh, split into two areas. This kind of little, the, we'll call this the square, the plaza, where a lot of action, and where, this is where the only spawns are, actually. This is where all the major action takes place. And if you lead into the tunnel or go through this building here, you'll eventually get to another area that we'll take a look at. We're going to talk about this one first, though, because this is the one you're going to be spending most of your time playing this map in this level. Which, I'm also just going to point out real quick, this is Dario Casali. He has stated that this is his proudest achievement in Half-Life Deathmatch, so keep that in mind while we watch the map. I'm going to get one thing out of the way almost immediately, because someone's going to, like, probably expecting me to ask this. Let's go to this building first, and I'll tell you right now, in this corner, right here, I'm 100% certain that there is a blocked-off entrance to a hidden room that you cannot get into in the final version. Um, I'm bringing this up right away because people on the internet, like, in the early days would spend forever trying to get this stupid thing to open, from what I understand. Um, and it was basically just a case of, they just, uh, Dario Casali was ordered to take it out right before they needed to get the map out, so he didn't have time to remove it, just block it. I have played on servers that either through server-side mods have brought it back, like, opened it up, or, or... Just absolutely, like, there's another version of the map, I believe, that actually just has it open. I'm 100% certain it is that building right here. Because this is the north... This is the most northwest map in the... Um... Part of the map. Anyway, let's actually talk about the damn thing. So, as you can see there, a lot of these buildings look the same, but they're all slightly different. It's a bit similar to, uh, boot camp in that regard. Starting with this one, you got a crossbow up here. Which is great for sniping, I don't need to tell you that in this map. Um, you can jump across these windows. That's one of my favorite things about this map, is jumping between the buildings. Obviously, it's not so good if you fall down and, like, you know, lose your space. Get an RPG here. There are a lot of RPGs in this map, I might add. You could jump to yet another building from here, which is fun. Good time guaranteed for all. Uh, there's a lot of elevators in this map, which all are fast, and they don't take too long to go up and down, so I, I'm, I'm very much in favor of that. Yet another RPG. Get the gauze uh, here. One of your best weapons, of course, because, you know, especially if you're playing with few people, jumping around and trying to dominate people with this thing is an indescribable feeling. You, like, you can get to another building from here. Let's go this way. We're gonna... No, 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 no. Let's, be... Let's go back first. Let's do the back first. Um, we'll go here. There's a long walkway around this one. But before I forget, you can go into this uh, small area here. If that wasn't up there, wasn't the way to get to the secret part of the map, it was down here. I cannot remember for the life of me. In fact, I'm almost 100% certain that the entrance to the hidden room is right here. Now that I think about it, something about, yeah, something about this lighting just doesn't add up here. Pretty sure it was right here. Well, I'll show it off later after in uh, using cheats. Don't worry, I I'm, not, I'm not just gonna... I'm not just gonna hint it, I'm gonna show it off. So anyway, this is a pretty big building right here. Um, if you wanna just get to the other next building from here, you can do so. But if you want to get up, you can get in here, get a revolver. The revolver is also terrific on this map. There was one down where I started, but obviously, you know, sniping with this thing anywhere in this map is terrific. If you go through here, get some grenades. This is, the thing about why this map is so good, is that almost every weapon has really good, like, you know, pri like, you know, you know, reason to exist, if that makes any sense. 
Some maps you play, you see weapons placed in certain areas, and it doesn't the map the weapon being placed there doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like for instance, like a shotgun. It, that shotgun in Undertow that was kind of in like a higher up area. There's not really a reason for that to be there. Here though, every weapon feels like it needs it's a, a good spot to be. Like here, the submachine gun. I can take you down, start blasting, or I can start firing, get some easy kills in the courtyard, see? See what I mean? It's just good placement. Oh, revolver. Well, I can go snipe with that right away. That's why this one is like, you know, what this map does really well. Get those satchels. Now, here's where I started, just for posterity's sake. Moving on, we're gonna go to this building here, which has two little areas. The left one is mostly just for a hive hand. Which, even this, could be a little bit useful for, like, you know, just firing out and trying to, like, you know, damage people from afar. Got a shotgun. Good time guaranteed for all. Another crossbow. Another SMG. And yet, another gauze. There's a lot of weapons. There are so many weapons in this map. I'll talk about this area in a bit. Get the health kit for that. Uh, that there health pickups, because, you know, that's important. There is leads to another, another way to... The building we'll take a look at later. That's not good. First, we'll go back this way. So, from... That was, uh... Yeah, from here... You can land on this power generator, which could be a little bit helpful to, like, lessen your fall. Get away, Snark. I'm not, I'm not part of this violence. Get the gauze here. Very, very, very good weapon on this map. I don't need to tell you that, though. Charge up right there. Oh, SMG, too. Also, hiding spot. You might think this might seem like a silly thing to point out, but this could save your ass in the heat of the moment. I've played this map enough to have hidden there before, distinctly, so. And here's just another entrance to the second area. Obviously, RPG there. You're gonna be grab trying to grab this RPG a whole hell of a lot. You gotta be wise about it, though, because I don't need to tell you. Uh, things get a little bit busy down here. Um... It's not common, uncommon to see just blood everywhere, which is great. Probably part of the reason why people like this map so much. So now, let's go into this part building here, which will segue into the next part of the map. You can get up from here to a, a sniper area. This leads us back around to this part of the building, which you can also get here, obviously, jumping in from the window. So you want to get those charged. There's a lot... Of, this building has a lot of potential charge for your suit, so don't discredit it. If you were to come back this way, we'll start leading into another gauze. Good. I, I, I can't, I'm deliberately not mentioning the next part of the map because there's a lot to say about it. If you go down this way, it's just another entrance with this little kind of like area down here. Get some good old shotgun and explosives. Good stuff. Now it's about time we start talking about this part. Now this was based off of... This was originally based off of part of surface tension. So I think I mentioned the other day that Lamb the Bunker was the only time that a multiplayer map kind of took something from single player. Uh, that's still mostly true, but this was based off of one part of Surface Tension. If you know which part, if you played it, you'll know what I'm the part I'm talking about. It's uh, the one with the Apache uh, about halfway through-ish. So, so you get the long jump. You don't forget the long jump in this map. I picked it up earlier, but I didn't mention it. Um, there's a little court area here with some snarks, which can be really useful here. Um, windows to get, like, quick access to the other parts of the building. I brought up the gauze being really good here, and I, I don't have it with me, but gauze jumping around to get to this part over here is an indescribably amazing feeling. I, like, I totally... It makes this, like, map worth it. Get that there, crossbow ammo. Get some more charges. And this leads back to... Where we were at earlier, and I just picked up the gauze. So yeah, if you want to get to this building over here. Always do this, pro tip. Slow your fall. Um, and from here, th this is where the basis for this map came from. Because Dariuko Sully wanted to make a map with a strong emphasis on the a part of the, the player would want to... Uh, a, 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 a part of the map with strong defensive capabilities that the players would all want to get to. Uh, the bots don't really have the same initiative, but people will be trying to come over here eventually. For reasons we'll get into real quick. Now, up here, on both sides, you get these explosives. Uh, very useful. I don't need to tell you like, the, the merits of explosives. Um, one on each side. Also on each side, I'll just show this one off for posterity. Uh, yeah. Boom, boom. 
Uh, each side's got a little duck and cover area here. And there's also, on both sides, a place you can fall into bunkers with. This is a symmetrical area if we couldn't figure that out. See, over here. And obviously, you just snipe is good stuff here, too. Always try to do that. You got a lot of health pickups. Like, a lot. I, I say pickups, I mean wall charger, I'm an idiot. Use these, because, like, you know... By the, like, you know, they do recharge over time, so, you know, just... You know, you're going to be able to get, like, a whole full, full health and stay full health if you know what you're doing. Now, this door is very important as we go into the back area. Keep that door in mind. A shotgun on both sides. I just, I'm actually going to double check because I, I played this a map, a map a lot, but I always doubt myself. Yep. And here, a shit, a shit ton of just pickups for, like, you know, all the weapons you want. Along with some satchels. I'll go show it off here. Like, again, like I said, completely symmetrical, so it doesn't matter too much which way you go. Now, this button's interesting. You're going to see that right here. Um, if you press this, you start wondering what the hell is going on. And something closed up there, the command, the little panel. Well, this is going to start slowly closing here. Um, and this would be the cue. You can hear this little horn from everywhere in the map. And see, what they want you to do is kind of defend this, especially if you're on the team mode. They want you to defend this area by, like, trying to keep people from rushing in and exploding and stuff like that. Um, and you'll see why in a second. I should mention a little uh, trivia. The cannons weren't here in an early version of the map, but, um, Brett Johnson convinced Dario Casali to add him in. So what happens when, uh, you, uh, are outside while that closes? Well, you hear that? Let's go take a look, if I can make it in time. Imagine fighting all around, hearing that go on, and then boom! Everyone is DEAD! Everyone dies and they lose a frag, and that's actually about it. To be completely honest, if I have one complaint about this map, is that that doesn't have more consequence for being caught in that. Yeah, sure, you'll lose it for, like, you know, a point, because that can't qualifies as a self-destruct to the game. But that doesn't really matter too much in the long run of things. In fact, often I would activate that just for shits and giggles, the, uh... The airstrike and just come back and start killing people. And, like, you know, just get frags that way. Because you don't get credited for the kills from this thing. So it's a little bit pointless. Now, just to show real quick before we end things. You can't crawl through that. That was another thing I forgot to point up. Um. You can't just keep spamming this thing. Because if you see, it eventually closes up. So that prevents, like, you know, just a c constant barragement. Uh, and Yeah. That's Crossfire. We're gonna go play it in a second, but first let's let us show off some other stuff. So you, as you can see here, I just started it in single player, and there's actually a few things about it. Um, this is a glitch because it just takes whatever. There's no defined skybox; it just defaults to the uh, canyon one. So if I was in the interloper chapter of single player, just to prove a point, I loaded into this map, and because there's no the skybox, I just use the last one used. So this is a glitch. Now. Don't think that there's any meaning to have, like, the for reason for these guys to be here, the security guards. I think they were just there to test the, um, blast radius of the, like, airstrike. Dario Caselli just placed them there. Because obviously that one's not going to die. I know there's at least two more somewhere in the map, and they're obviously going to die if they get caught in the blast. I always hate playing this game without the HUD. It just feels naked. Now... Let's activate good old server cheats there. Here it is. Just to prove I'm an idiot, it was here. I do believe it's down here. I am pretty certain I goofed up earlier. Yes, yes. Okay, I had a distinct memory of climbing this up. Like, you know, I don't know why I thought it was... I thought it was higher up. But no, it's down here. And I have played... And yeah, that closes if you're in here. I have totally played this map with that door open. I'm sure a lot of people have played this map with that open. And as you see, it just leads to a lot of charges and crossbows. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's, this just got removed because of, like, lack of time. As far as I'm aware. It's, it's real easy, I would imagine, on a server side to just have some sort of, like, you know, server command to keep that open. Someone who knows, like, you know, how the servers in this game, would, like, operate a bit better than I would, would probably be able to explain that. Yeah, see, he's gonna die if that goes off. Or he could just die now. Sorry. Anyway. Now, I'm only playing with 8 people because I'm a weirdo, but, you know, uh, 32 people on this map will work just fine. This map was designed for, like, you know, larger teams as it is, or, like, larger people. If anyone ever wonders why I never played team play in this game, it's just because I feel it isn't as refined 
as you know, a team play should be. I mean, that's the way I feel about a lot of older, like, deathmatch focus games. Like, you know, it, the, like, it's like, you know what I mean? It's like one of those older ones where the team you'd be on would be defined by your player model. Like, you could always set that on the server side to not do that, but still, it's just weird like that. You know, every, like, the spawns are, like, random still, so there's a bit, it's a bit harder to actually coordinate and team up. I liked it in something like Quake 3, where, you know, like, you know, there's a specific mode for it and, like, specific spawns, and you all kind of spawn closer together. Or, like, hell, even to bring up, like, COD 4 or something like that, where, you know, you all, you're, like, the teams are on the two sides of the map, like, opposite each other, and they switch occasionally. I like that. When it's just kind of random, it just doesn't really do it for me. This map actually was designed with team play in mind specifically, hence why there's a lot of defense focus. Uh, Valve has also gone on to say that this is their favorite map for team play, I might add, so. Also, I'm doing a terrible job, oh, wow. Yeah, you hear all the sounds in the background right now, though? That is totally the experience right here. If you played this map, you're gonna hear the god, like, you know, the sound of the gods firing, rockets going off. Uh, crossbow bolts missing you, that dogonk sound, and then the uh, uh, of the, like, you know, the siren, it's gonna be permanently ingrained in your brain. This is another one of the maps I played where I was like that one mod where you start with all the weapons and stuff like that I brought up in, uh, Subtransit. I'm pretty sure the same mod, like, that, like, server that would have that mods would also be the ones that opened up the, uh, door. To, to the secret area. But I, I swear I played like the vanilla-esque maps where it's just been, or vanilla-esque servers where it's just been like it, as you see now. Now yeah, I'm gonna go activate the thing, why not? I might not even, it doesn't, it's not actually available to open right away either, I might add. Uh, when the like the round starts, you have to give it a bit. I don't know if I've spent enough time dicking around. Nope. Well, I'll just go back. That's my only real complaint about this map is if you like you want to do that and no one's out over here then it kind of gets boring that doesn't usually happen on a real server though on a real server people will be trying to head out here to dick around and try to activate that for no other reason because a lot of times it's free for all on the servers i'd play it on anyway just to, like you know for shits and giggles basically i think that's how most people play this game this isn't super competitive like you know game number 25 so a lot of time people would just play for like, you know, the, the thrill of the kill, if you will. Oh uh, yeah, Crossfire. Um, I wouldn't quite call it my favorite map, but it's definitely up there. Definitely like top five. Um, I just prefer a map that's a little bit less chaotic overall. Or less focused on one area, you know? That's me.